So what does a logical DI set require? What level of uh, analysis does it require? Just have a look. The best part of, of DI is that it's all linear thinking. No matter how complicated it is, it is all linear thinking. So if is data ko control karne ke liye, let's just understand what this data is. XYZ organization got into business of delivering groceries to home at the beginning of the last month. They have a two-day delivery promise. However, the deliveries are unreliable. An order book on a particular day may be delivered the next day or the day after. If the order is not delivered at the end of two days, then the order is declared lost at the end of the second day. So what happens? You get an order today. You can deliver on plus one day. Or you can deliver on plus two days. And if this delivery does not happen and this delivery does also does not happen, then two days later it is lost. XYZ then does not deliver the order but informs the customer, marks the order is lost, returns the payment and pays a penalty for non delivery The following table provides details about the operation of XYZ for a week of the last month. The first column gives the date, the second column gives the cumulative numbers of orders that were booked up to that day and including that day, the third column represents the number of orders delivered on that. The last column gives the cumulative number of orders that were lost up to and including that day. We will see that data and then understand this. It is known that the number of orders that were booked on 11, 12, 13 of the last month that took two days to deliver were 4, 6 and 8. So 11th ko jo book hua, 11th ko jo book hua, two days to deliver would be delivered on 13th. 12th jo book hua, two days to deliver will be delivered on 14th. And 13th jo book hua, two days to deliver will be delivered on 15th. So these four are deliveries on 14th, 13th, which were booked on 11th. The sixth is deliveries on 14th, booked on 12th, and this eighth is delivery on 15th, booked on 13th. So now, if you look at the kind of question, the questions being asked here are. Among the following days, the largest fraction of orders booked on which day was lost. So, first of all, on 14th, the number of orders booked is 30. Because when you talk about the cumulative orders booked, 219 booked by 13, 249 booked on 14th by 14th. So, on 14th, 30 orders were booked. On 15th, 28 orders were booked. On 16th, 25 orders were booked. On 17th, 25 orders were booked. You have to be able to recognize this, the difference between these two as the number of orders booked on that day. On 18th, 5 orders were booked. On 19th, 5 orders were booked. Right? Now, further, what happens to the to these 30 orders or before that how do you deal with these 11 orders so that is where you need to recognize what they have told us here in this last sentence they are telling me that orders booked on 11th and delivered on 13th was 4 so when you are talking about a delivery on 13th this delivery on 13 splits into 4 plus 7. 4 is coming from 11th. There must be a booking on 11th. Out of which 4 is getting delivered here. And the 7 is getting delivered from 12th. These are orders of 12th which get delivered on 13th. These are orders of 11th which get delivered on 12th. Because they have told me, see the orders that are delivered on the on the 13th will consist of orders that were coming in from 11th and orders that were coming in from 12th. 10th orders to 12th go lost to jack. Orders of 10th will get lost on 12th. So what are the orders delivered on, on 12th, on 13th? The orders delivered on 13th will consist of two numbers. 
orders of 11th delivered on 13th and orders of 12th delivered on 13th. This number is given to us as 4 in the, in the data of the case list. And this 7 is coming from the 12th. No, these can't be orders of 13th because the question has told us very clearly that orders are delivered either on this next day or the day after. Look at the first uh, paragraph. I cannot rub off this uh, this writing because then it will get everything will get off rubbed off. Rubbed off. Yeah, so I, I maybe I can rub this off. So so this is the this is the analysis you will do here. So now you realize why they have told me this. Now you realize why they have told me this. What they have told me is 11th delivered on 13th, 12th delivered on 14th, and 13th delivered on 15th. These three numbers are given to me as 468. And that means these are these are two day deliveries. That means one day delivery is the remaining deliveries 7, 21, and 15. But that's not all that you have to analyze here. Now you know that there were 30 deliveries, 30 orders on 14th. You know there are 28 orders on 15th. You know there are 25 orders on 16th. You know that there are 25 orders on 17th. You know there are 5 orders on 18th. You know that there are 5 orders on 19th. What happened to the 30 orders? What happened to the 30 orders of 14th? One day delivery, 15th. One day delivery, 15th. Now, this is cumulative orders lost. So, orders lost on 14th is 1. Orders lost on 15th is 2. Orders lost on 16th is 12. And orders lost on 16th will also be coming from this 30. Because what you can't deliver on, on, on 16th from 14th will be lost. 16th orders lost will only be from 14th. Orders lost after two days. So imagine this is the analysis you do in self exam. And that means because this is 30 and this is 15 and this is 12, that means this is 3 and this is 8. And you continue this chain going forward and complete this table before you can answer the questions. So this is, I mean, it's not very difficult analysis, plus minus only. But unless you do this analysis, you have no chance of getting this question right. And under pressure, nobody could see this uh, structure. It, it gets confusing. Ek bhi question, ek bhi calculation galat kar diya, pura table galat ho jaya. And you have to do it very precisely. What happens to the orders of 28th of, of these 15th? Eight orders are delivered in one day on 16th. 12 orders are lost because the cumulative orders lost are 12 again. So 8 plus 12, this number here, 28, is going to be a sum of this. This number 28 is going to be the sum of this, the right, right number in this column on the next day, this, and the first column of the third day. These three numbers will add up to, to 28. So if that is 8 and this is 12, you'll be able to see this is 8, and then this becomes 13. And not only you will have to go ahead, you will also have to go back to get the answers. So for example, how many orders were booked on 13th? Can we see that? The orders booked on 13th are the orders which were one day delivery on 14th plus what got lost on 15th plus two day delivery on 15th. So these three numbers are going to add up to the orders booked on 13th. This was what the what the requirement was, the ability to see this, this structure. And this is what I meant, meant by, are you able to recognize data structures? So 
So there is a question somewhere which says that which was the day on which the maximum orders were booked. And you can see that uh, it seemed that it was 14, but it's not true. 13th ko maximum uh, uh, orders were booked. On which of the following days was the maximum orders booked? And 13th was an option in that. And most people could not see that 13th connected that way and uh, could not get the marks. And then again, fraction of orders lost is lowest. Your second question. Uh, the largest fraction of orders lost. So you have to be able to connect for orders lost. You have to be able to connect this 31 with this 2. So 2 out of 31 got, got lost. And on 14th, 12 out of 30 got lost. 40 percent lost on 14th. And on 15th, 28 orders were there and 12 got lost. So 12 out of 28, this is the answer there. Right, so if you see, it's it's just an addition of addition and subtraction of few numbers, but the ability to visualize the breakdown of these numbers, they did not tell us this. You had to visualize the structure of the data, and based on the structure of the data, you had to execute the solution. So, unless you you have that that I mean, two things happen here. One is you should have the level of logic to be able to assess this, and you will not be able to have this logic if you have only done assisted problem solving because if you go to ask someone Ki kya kare hai? with every such test the question that you have then inside the exam you're not going to be able to execute it and one of my problem with majority of people in preparation and i tell everybody who joins mindworks he we are ready to teach you as much as you want but there's a point at which you'll have to you'll have to say no to assisted problem solving you know or nahi karna hai to assisted Main ab jaunga, i'll go into my Self problem solving. So, I mean, you take you take help of 25 videos, you take help of, help of 50 videos, you take help of 100 videos in assisted problem solving, but in DI, 150 sets of traditional and 150 sets of logical, this is critical before you master data interpretation. And then on top of that, then you go into the mocks, and when you go into the mocks, you will just be able to see. And uh, the second phase is mocks plus previous year questions. One of the things I always tell people you don't do previous year questions to start with. Look, what do you previous year questions to start with? What is the problem? What is the Previous year questions will give you a very clear indication of how much more you need to do. Are you ready uh, uh, to, to finish off uh, uh, questions or not? Are you ready, ready to solve uh, questions of the exam level? So, previous year questions, when you do, you have to do a little bit of Groundwork before you come to that, so that I mean, you're not only learning them from practice, but it's also giving you an analysis of whether you need to do more more uh, work to be ready for this or not. You might not get a single traditional DI question, or the first three sets you come across are logical. Then what will you do? You can't keep leaving, hoping that you will come across traditional. You can't keep running away from questions, right? And if there's a lot of traditional DI in the cat. Everybody will be able to solve it, so the, the pressure, the, the scores will go up there. 